Hey guys, I'm Lindsay and I'm back with another video. So the last video I posted was an unboxing of the Tandem T-Slim Insulin Pump. I have officially been using that pump for I think three weeks. It's been less than a month. Um, and I love it so far. Um, I finally have all my supplies organized, which is what this video is going to be about. But um, I have a few video requests. One is a comparison between the Animus One Touch Ping and the Tandem T-Slim. I will do that video for those who have requested it. I pinky promise I'm just trying to learn everything I can about the T-Slim before I do that video so I can give you a complete comparison of it. So don't think I've forgotten you all because I haven't. I was so excited to get some requests in and yeah. Um, also thank you for 20 subscribers or over 20 subscribers. I know it's not a big deal to a lot of people, but to me that's huge. Um, it means the world and all your questions and all your support means everything to me. So yeah, today's video is going to be a how I organize my pump supplies so you guys can get some ideas because I know that my pump supplies or my diabetes supplies tends to take over my life. So... <laughs> Yeah, with that being said, let's just jump into the video and get started. Okay, so the flash on my phone is on, but this is the first place that I keep supplies. This is not insets. There are a few, but this is not insets. I actually need to throw this away because this stuff doesn't work with my new pump. Um, but yeah, this is the first area. So in this huge tub, I have all of my tubing from the years I've had my insulin pump, and there's a lot of it, um, so yeah, and then back here, I just honestly have random stuff, so I have a bunch of syringes, um, a bunch of cords, uh, old stuff, like honestly, this is just kind of random, diabetes supplies, glucagons, um, a Nova pen, old meters, lancing devices, there's my pen stuff like that so then this little drawer has some band-aids on top just in case okay so this three drawer system is from a dollar store i believe um so yes in the first drawer i have two different sizes of medical tape i have this size and this size um medical tape is my best friend in the summer um, I have one of the little pieces that takes the cartridge off the T-Slim pump. Um, if you want me to do a cartridge changing video or a site changing video, let me know in the comments below. I'm still kind of iffy on doing the whole site changing thing um, on camera just because I'm kind of weird about that stuff. I don't even change it in front of family. So yeah. Okay, sorry. Um, so I just have one of those in there because it comes with two. Then I have a bunch of these little samples of back bacotracin. Back, I don't know how to say this. It's Bactrim ointment, which is like Neosporin, but stronger. Um, I have Q-tips to put that on my sites. If I try to put them on my site every time I change my site just to make them heal a little bit better. Um, so I have that, and then I have a tube of Neosporin in here, again, to do the same thing as the back drum. The next drawer, well, maybe, is, I kid you not, just alcohol wipes. Um, I want to find the alcohol wipes that have, um, adhesive, like, stuff in them. I just don't know where to get them, so if you know where to get those, then let me know in the comments below. But yes, I only use alcohol wipes. And in this drawer, I have my glucagon that is still in date. It's not expired. I have three of these insets that I have never used. What are these? I don't even know what these are. I use the inset 30, so they go in at a 30 degree angle opposed to a 90 degree so I have three of those that my doctor gave me to try forever ago and I never did and then back there I have a bunch of little Lanson needles and so or pen needles so yeah okay so ignore the two Christmas bags um again I've been in the process of decorating my room um for Christmas 
Also, if you guys want a room tour, let me know in the comment section down below. Because I would do one of those, even though it's not diabetes related. I feel like it just lets you guys get to know me a little bit better because a room says a lot about a person. But anyways, so I have this four drawer organizing system. I genuinely don't know where this is from. I think my dad got it from his old office from work. I wish it were white because the black doesn't go with my room. But for now, it is sitting right here next to this dresser. Um, so on top, I have this little countdown calendar I made for Christmas. And then my pump box because I don't know what else to do with it. Um, so the first drawer looks like this. These need to go in that drawer in my closet in my bathroom. But, and this little browning box this came with a necklace in it. Um, I like to, I get my dogs. I like to save the little pieces that go in your inset um, when you're like showering or in the pool in here because I always need those so they're in a place right there. Um, in this little green bin, I have my chargers. So I have my pump T Slim charging cord, the car charger, and then the little wall charger. And then I have my meter charger. I use the one touch. Vario IQ, I believe is what it's called. So there's just the little outlet plug for that and then the cord. So all that's in one place. And then I have my pump cases. So I have the black one, the pink one, which I need to clean because it's dirty, and then the blue one. So yeah, I ordered two extra cases. And then I have the other little clip thing so yeah these um organizers are from i think either family dollar or dollar tree the next drawer is just tubing um i don't know what else to keep in this drawer once this gets full i'll dump it in the other one they send me so much tubing and i don't really use it or change it as much as i should so i have tons of it but i guess that's okay so yeah this drawer is probably my favorite um this is my cartridge drawer so back here, I have the physical uh, T-Slim insulin pump cartridges. So back here, I think there's three boxes in this bag, in this drawer. So I have a bunch of those, like they're all under here. Um, and then in this little container, like the ones in this drawer, I have these syringes uh, standing up in there. And then in this, you can't really see it. In this little box, it was the bottom of a cheese it box. I duct taped to match the green from the other ones. I have the needles that attach to the cartridges. So, yeah, so the cartridges are three pieces. So, you put the insulin in one of these syringes with this needle on the end, and then you fill the cartridge. And then the very last drawer is insects. Um, very very exciting things so yeah that is all of I it. hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a big thumbs up comment down below any questions you have for me because I want to do a Q&A in the near future so you guys get to know me better it can be diabetes related it can be life related it can be any like questions unless they're too personal obviously but yeah um, I also have a few video ideas that I want to do, and I'm going to start using my good camera, which is back there, but I broke my tripod, so I need to ask for a new one for Christmas. So, yeah, like I said, give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below any questions or any video requests, and I will collect all your questions and do a huge Q&A, hopefully in the next couple weeks. So, yeah, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye!